Hello everyone. Today we are talking the Scottish delicacy that is the deep fried Mars bar. I hope you're all doing well out there guys. Just before we get started on today's video, please remember, hit that subscribe button and apparently if you hit the bell button as well, then you will get a notification every time we upload. And we upload every Saturday. So, you know, it'll help you keep track of what day of the week it is in this strange time. Are you okay? Plus, if you don't hit the subscribe button, he's gonna cry. So there are myths and rumors that the deep fried Mars bar is not a real thing. But I can guarantee you, it is a real thing. If you go to any, most chip shops in Scotland, you will be able to get a deep fried Mars bar, which on the surface of it sounds awful. However, it's one of these magical, unexplainable combinations that just work. You know what I mean? Salt and pepper, bangers and mash, fish and chips, batter and mars bar. It, it just, it just works. With that in mind, we're going to look at briefly the history of a deep fried mars bar and then we're going to make a deep fried mars bar. Of course we are. During my essential shopping this week, I happened to notice this little beauty behind me right here. This is a deep fat fryer. It's a small one portion deep fat fryer and was only 15 pound. So, how could I not? How could I not try to make a deep fried Mars bar? I'm expecting it to go wrong. <laughs> I don't know how long they make it for in a chippy. I don't know the magic amount of time. I don't know the magic, you know, touch. We're just gonna give it a go. It is one of these things that it looks awful. Like it looks awful, but there's just something about it. Now it's not old. It's not old. According to the stories that I can find, it only dates back to about 1995. And I have to say, I don't remember it growing up. I don't remember it being a thing growing up. Um, because I'm sure if it was, I definitely would have had it. 100% would have had it as a youth. But no, it, it, it only dates back to about 1995. And the story that I can find um, is apparently it originated in a fish and chip shop called the Haven Chip Bar, which is now called the Karen with a C in Stonehaven. This is how the story goes. There was two young lads in the chip shop having a bit of banter, a bit of back and forth, a bit, a bit of a chin wag with the person that worked there. Must have known them. Stonehaven's not a big place, so they were just chatting away. See if a Mars bar could be battered and deep fried. It's a bit of a dare. It looks like this has came from a bit of a banter and a bit of a dare. So the chippy owners went, all right, okay, yeah, I can do this. So he's got the chip, he's got the Mars bar, he's battered it. Which in Scotland can also mean getting beat up. If you've never heard that before, getting battered is getting beat up. However, it can also mean getting drunk. Actually, truthfully, Scotland, you can put any phrase in front of something and it mean getting drunk. He's battered this Mars bar, he's thrown it in the deep fat fryer and they've brought it out and it's looked atrocious. It's looked horrible, but miracle of miracles, it's been, you know, just one of these incredibly delicious things. You would think these two would mix together. However, after that, the story spread it got picked up by a journalist, apparently, from the Aberdeen Evening Express. And then, chip shops all around Scotland have went, that's a great idea, we can do that. Apparently even so, that, that some big fancy restaurants in Scotland will give you a deep fried Mars bar. It's on their menu. I don't know which restaurants this is, but apparently some are. However, and this is what's funny, Mars bar don't like it. <laughs> Mars do not condone or approve the use of deep frying a Mars bar, which makes me want to do it even more. <laughs> also, any, any health organization anywhere says, no, this is a bad thing to do. You should not do it. It's really unhealthy. Just makes you want to do it really, doesn't it? <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to make some batter and then we're going to deep fry the Mars bar and we're going to see what it's like. And here's the thing. There's loads of different recipes of batter out there. Like, there really is. 
and I didn't think there was so many different ways to make batter but um, I don't know what a chipper usually uses so I've decided the safest thing to do is in the instructions for this it's got a basic batter recipe which is just flour, pinch of salt and water. That seems like the most basic and obvious thing to do. So that's what we're going to do. It's getting there. It's getting there. I would assume, I mean, all that is right now is flour and water. It does say just add the salt just before you're about to batter something. Um, but I'll assume it's supposed to be, you know, sticky. Because if you're going to cover in something, it's supposed to be quite thick and sticky. And I don't think that's thick and sticky enough yet. And there's definitely some lumps. I don't think there's supposed to be lumps either. However, I am going to add some more powder to make it to make it stickier. Powder. Flour. It's not as if I'm going to plaster the walls with it. This is now looking nice and thick. And like if, you know, if you put something in there it would stick to it. It's good to stick to the Mars bar. Otherwise it's kind of pointless, isn't it? So there we go. There. Some nice homemade batter. The oil is heated up. I've put it to 140 degrees Celsius. So it's, you know, hot. There's definitely a heat coming off that. So first off, we need to batter a Mars bar. Mars do not condone doing this at all. One Mars bar. <laughs> batter that up. Well, this may be a bit thick. I may have made it a little bit too thick. Oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Even Merlin's interested. Hiya, pal. Whoa, it's, it's slippy. It's slippy. I have no idea how long it will take to do this. I'm guessing not long. Oh, I better get a plate. That actually looks like the batter is not thick enough. No, yeah. it's coming off, isn't it? It's like disintegrating away. Surely that's enough. Well, let's find out. Oh, I think that's. I think the batter's not thick enough. I think that's just melted. And then we're gonna have to start again. Try again, but with loads of batter. Yeah, I need to make it thicker. I really need to make it thicker. <laughs> yeah, that does not look good. It's definitely, the batter's not nowhere near thick enough. <laughs> it's stuck to the bottom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, it was kind of covered. Maybe if I'd left it in longer, oh, it actually would have been okay. Oh, that's gross. Attempt one here doesn't seem to have worked. However, the batter was starting to cook. Maybe just didn't leave it in long enough, but I am gonna to try to make the batter a bit thicker, and then we're gonna try again. But I do want to take a bite of the Mars bar. Oh, I've got to. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, it's melty. Oh my God, that's amazing. That's delicious. Oh, I really want to try this again, but get it right. Because that is really good. <laughs> oh, that is thick. That is properly thick this time. Oh, there's bits of the dough left over from mm. the last time. That's fine. Okay, let's cover that bit there. Anyway. That's cheating, maybe slightly, but it doesn't matter. Okay. That definitely looks more that covered. That looks better, yeah, it's, it's sticking this time. So then we just have to leave it in there till it goes kind of a nice goldeny brown. That's been in there for a little while now. Kirsten's playing with the dogs. I think I'm gonna to have to go with that because the chocolate is 
seeping out of it where it hasn't been battered a little bit but it definitely looks like it's cooked now there it is one homemade deep fried mars bar normally you would just bite into this i will say it's not the prettiest thing in the world my batter is not, obviously not expert whoa look at that look at that that's lovely there is just something Oh, <laughs> there's just something about those two things mixed together that are absolutely lovely. That's really good. Really, really good. I think possibly if the oil's up as hot as it can go, which I might do, so that it cooks a little bit quicker, so the batter cooks quicker, so that it melts but not too much in the inside. But that is lovely. That is really, really, really nice. Kirsten just tried the second half. And I won't film her, but she's not impressed. <laughs> so, deep fried barge bar, I like it. I like it. However, excuse me while I still chew. Some chip shops around Scotland have taken this a step further. Deep fried Mars bar is the classic. But I have also heard of a deep fried curly whirly. A deep fried caramel cream egg. Only at Easter though. <laughs> only at Easter. So I think it's only fair that we try our own experiment. I think this is really just the science, you know, that we all want to know what happens. A Rolo is deep fried. Now obviously there needs to be a control experiment first. Yes, that's definitely a Rolo. Let's deep fry it. There we go. The chocolate from the Mars bar that sneaked out the side. The oil is covered in chocolate as well. So I don't think I'm going to be able to use this oil after this. Deep fried roll. I mean, it's batter, good. Chocolate, good. Toffee, good. All melted together. This one might be a little bit different. An arrow. Now this is mint chocolate with bubbles in it. So here's the question. Is it the toffee that makes a difference? Because obviously a Mars bar has toffee. A Volo has toffee. I won't cook the whole thing. But since that's just got... I don't know what that is. Mint bubbles. Does that make a difference? I mean, these are the important questions that need to be asked. What I will say, better to drop it in the oil rather than to put it on the, whatever you want to call that, frying thing, and put it in because it sticks to the bottom. If you drop it in, it kind of sort of floats in the middle a little bit. Deep fried aero. Look at I me, mean, look at that. That is not a pretty thing. It's actually really, really hot. I mean, it, it did just come out of a deep fat fryer. I mean, the chocolate in itself, I think is always going to make it work. But it's minty. The mint's not as strong as it normally would be. So it's just, it's just a subtle hint of mint. I mean, I'm still going to eat it. <laughs> just for science. Just for science. I feel we should try one more. This is a chunky Kit Kat. Does everyone have chunky Kit Kats? If you don't, then you're missing out. So we'll only do a half again. Half of this chunky Kit Kat. A deep fried chunky Kit Kat. I mean, that's hot. It's really hot. I'm really not looking forward to it. I'll need to let it cool down a second before I bite into that because it is really, really, really hot. Whilst that's cooled down, let's have a look at the oil. That is nasty. There's even chocolate around the rim there. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Deep fried chunky Kit Kat. Hmm. 
Not as good. It's the wafers. The wafers obviously don't melt. So the chocolate's melted round about, but the wafers just got hot in the middle. So yeah, out of all of that, I think we can decide that you need it to be a soft filling in the middle to make this properly work. I mean, I'm still going to finish it. So there you have it guys, the deep fried Mars bar. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely, that was lovely. I really enjoyed that. And I think I've learned how to deep fry things better along the way. Make the batter thicker, drop it in, you know, all these little bits. I mean, that thing's a mess now. It's gonna take a hell of a cleaning out, but I got better at it. Although a deep fried Mars bar is the classic, some chip shops will let you look at their confectionery uh, stand with all various chocolates and say, pick one and they'll batter it and you can deep fry that. So. Mars Bar's a classic, but if you're feeling adventurous, you know, some of them work out as well. Just remember the wafers didn't really work in a Kit Kat. But, you know, try what you like. I think we'll leave it there for today, guys. I hope you're all staying safe during this weird lockdown phase. If you enjoyed that, please remember, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more, why don't you go check out the second channel where I just do random stuff like this. But, till next time. Bye, humans.